This is our pepper ball TCP. Before we begin, I'd like to point out a few key areas. Your safety button, your trigger, your magazine release, your front and rear sight, your barrel, your rail mount to attach accessories, your magazine, a projectile viewport right here in this tiny hole, and on the rear, your velocity adjust, which you can find right here. Now currently this TCP is in safe mode. You will not be able to discharge it because the safety button is engaged. In order to place this into firing mode or to discharge around, you need to press the button on the right side of the device like so. On this side, you'll notice that the button comes through and exposing a red ring, indicating that you can now fire the TCP. To place it back into safe mode, press the button just like this. And just like that, it is back into safe mode. Removing the barrel. Verify that there are no projectiles remain in the chamber area of the barrel by pressing on the end of the barrel and turning it counterclockwise. The barrel can be removed by pulling it out of the receiver. At the bottom of the barrel, please note that the channel and there's a barrel lock inside that helps you index a barrel when removing it and reinstalling the barrel. Now to install the barrel back in, make sure that your channel is facing the bottom of your device and the barrel lock will help indicate the, index the barrel and turn ever so slightly to lock it back into place. Pull on the end of the barrel to ensure that it's properly seated. As you can see, we've done this correctly. This is our TCP magazine. Insert a maximum of six pepper ball projectiles into the magazines from the top. The projectile retaining pin will automatically lock the rounds into place. Alternatively, you can pull down on the follower retainer ears, which are located here on either side, and pull them to the bottom and lock them in place. And now you can load your rounds in from the top. Now your magazine's loaded and can be now installed into your TCP for use. TCP magazines require 8 gram CO2 cartridges in order to be used. In order to install one into the channel in the back of the mag, which is located here, take your flip knob screw at the bottom and flip up the little tab to unwind your screw. Once you have enough room to slip your 8 gram CO2 cartridge in, take the smaller end and place it upwards into the channel and into the puncture pin of the magazine. Once this is placed in like this, take your flip knob screw and tighten it ever so gently, pressing the eight gram CO2 cartridge against the puncture valve. Then quickly turn the flip knob clockwise until the cartridge is punctured and sealed, like so. And ensure that no CO2 gas is escaping from the puncture or pin area. Now your magazine is ready to be used in your TCP. When loading your magazine into your TCP, make sure you're giving it a nice hard firm press into the magwell. If you're too gentle, the magazine will not engage properly and will cause your TCP not to fire. Now give your magazine a nice hard slap into your magwell like so. There you go. Let's see that one more time. Great, now we're all set. Let's go shoot some rounds off.